Great, thank you. Great, so I'm gonna share some research today about parents sharing about their children on social media. So we know that parents share about their children on social media, myself included. It's my then seven-month-old son. And in doing so, they receive a variety of benefits. They receive positive feedback, social support, all of these good things from their social networks, their friends, and their family. But there are also possible concerns for the children. Parents posting about their children on social media can lead to tension between the, the parent and the child if there's insufficient coordination between the parent and the child about information disclosures. Also, a parent's post about a child on social media might compromise, for example, a teen's self-presentational goals on social media. And we already know from prior work that children do have some resistance to their parents posting about them on social media without their permission beforehand. So we continue to explore these potential benefits and concerns by looking at both the parent and the child perspective on parents posting about their children. To do this, we conducted an online survey. We used Qualtrics, sampling a national US population. And our sample included one parent and one child from the same family. That gave us 331 parent-child dyads. Our child participants were on average 13 years old, but ranged in age from 10 to 17 years old. And our sample of children were pretty evenly split between daughters and sons. Our parent participants skewed more towards mothers and stepmothers, was primarily white, and 79% self-identified as married or as living with a partner. So for our results. First, regarding permission seeking. When asked, how often should the parent ask for the child's permission before posting about them on social media, we see that there's a significant difference between children on the left and parent responses on the right, illustrating that children believe they should be asked permission more often than parents think they should ask. Perhaps not entirely surprising, but when we ask about a parent self-assessment, we see here a significant difference between when we ask a parent, how often do you actually ask your, your child's permission before posting about them, versus how often do you think you should be asking permission before posting about them on social media? Illustrating that, parents think they should ask permission more often than they currently do. And when we look at parent age differences, we see that younger parents post about their children on social media more often than older parents. In particular, parents in their 20s and 30s self-report that they post more often about their children than parents in their 40s and 50s and older. We also found that older parents both self-report that they ask permission more and that they think they should ask permission more. So in particular, parents 50 and older reported that they think they should ask permission more often than parents in their 20s, their 30s, or their 40s. And you can note that this analysis does control for the age of the child. But we also looked at the child's perspective, and in particular, what content they felt was OK for their parents to share about them on social media. Children think it's okay for their parents to post about their accomplishments in school and in extracurricular activities. Things like when we win a soccer game, good news like my kid got all A's and awards I won. Children are also okay with parents sharing about their interesting hobbies. When I do cool things, pictures of my Lego builds, my cooking, and children are okay with parents expressing pride and love for their children. When they are proud of their children, that they love me, and that they are proud of me for doing something good. 
Children are also okay with content that just generally makes them feel good. We kids like to let everyone know that we've accomplished something special. It makes us feel good. Parents posting pics lets us kids know that we're special. But it's not just about praise. Children are also okay with their parents posting about a general happy family life. Things like a pic on vacation or a nice family pic or pictures of th fun things that we do together. However, there is also certain content that children are certainly not okay with their parents sharing on social media. In particular, children are not okay with parents sharing content that they believe to be generally embarrassing. Baby pictures and naked baby pictures in particular, a common theme that we saw, temper tantrum videos, and stuff my friends would make fun of. By the way, if you're worried about me posting this picture of that child, my husband gave full permission. <laughs> <laughs> children also believe that unflattering content is not okay for their parents to share. So while I'm sleeping or when I don't look okay, when I'm not dressed up, and when my hair isn't fixed. Children are also not okay with parents sharing content that they consider to be too revealing or violating their privacy. So things like who their crush is, things I say about my friends, confidential stuff, or in this funny example, here's a pic of my son at a Super Smash Brothers tournament. Damn it, mom, that's supposed to be a secret. Finally, children are not okay with parents posting information that they consider to be intrusive on their social lives. Posts such as with information about new boyfriends, new girlfriends, status about my friends, or parties that they have or go to. With these findings in mind, we think there are some tools that social media platforms could implement to help families co-manage these information disclosures. Now that we have a clearer picture of the types of information and content that children are okay with their parents sharing, social media platforms could suggest content to parents that is okay to post. Platforms could also facilitate permission seeking by allowing parents to tag their children in posts before they are published, and then allow the child to either approve the post or reject it and provide some reason for doing so such as, no, this picture is too revealing. This would allow parents to better understand their children's preferences in a non-confrontational, supportive interaction. So, for my takeaways, I leave you with, first, children are actually okay with parents sharing certain content about them on social media. But being asked permission is important to children. But parents also believe they should be asking permission more often than they currently do. Thank you. So hi, Tiago from the University of Lisbon. So I was wondering, so I was looking at the okays and the, and the don'ts and Sometimes they don't feel exclusive, so I could imagine a kid that at some time in his life don't, doesn't want his friends to know that he has all A's because he don't want, doesn't want to look like a nerd. Mm -hmm. So although the design recommendations seem, well, to be feasible and, and valuable independently from that, uh, I wanted to know if you, if you had this feeling that some of these things were not like left or right. Sure. I mean, I think that's a very fair point. Um, individual preferences per child are going to vary. So what might be embarrassing to one child may not be for another. I think that's why we are pushing for tools that will allow that dialogue between parents and children to understand what in particular is okay for, with the child to post about them on social media. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for your question. <laughs>